What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Equal Espresso, and welcome to today's United States. We're gonna be talking about advanced warfare, continuing our coverage here, part of this E3 week. Today is a little more speculation than actual coverage, but as you guys know, we are showing a ton of stuff regarding the game recently, most prominently the level induction, the opening level of the campaign in Seoul, South Korea. But in this, we get a look at a lot of stuff we'll be seeing throughout the game. Now, for those of you guys that follow closely to info and like to dig, there's been private viewings of the gameplay along with public stuff that we've all seen. The private stuff is more so related to the people higher up in the community, stuff like that, people that'll get early access to all this stuff. But in that, some have said that multiplayer is disguised as single player from what they've seen. Whether or not that's true, that's almost irrelevant, but it does confirm that some of the movements we may or may not be seeing are there. Now, I'm going to talk about two mechanics that I saw from the induction gameplay, and I'm sure that you guys have as well. These being the sidestep boosting as well as the jetpack boosted jumps to increase your jumping distance or break your fall. So let's start with the sidestep mechanic from what others have described it as it's left, right, or backwards dodging. We saw this in gameplay and I initially compared it to Titan movement and Titanfall, which honestly I hate doing because I don't believe any of this game was a copy of Titanfall, but that's a whole different story which we won't go into. Regardless, the sidestep mechanic is probably going to be a lot more fluid and commonplace than we may initially think. Now, is this a bad thing? I really don't think so. It's going to add a lot more in terms of player movement as well as play styles to be built around that. And realistically, how bad can it be? Yes, it may get a little bit annoying to see, but then again, so is sliding when it was introduced into Ghosts. Now, moving along, I'm really curious as to the jetpack movement. I've heard jumping isn't exactly double jumping, but more so along the lines of increased height when jumping. So will this mean levels are differently heightened than other titles to accommodate for higher elevation gaps that can be cleared? As well as I'm interested to see how the downward bursts of air to break your fall will be implemented into the game and multiplayer. We saw this in gameplay in induction. It was a really cool feature, but it depended on the juice of your jetpack and what you had left in it. Which brings me to another thought. If that could potentially break our fall by using our juice of our jetpack, could we potentially jump higher by using the same process of watching where our battery is on our jetpack? Like the energy weaponry, if it's too much, you can't use it. So before I let you guys go with this video, I do want to give you something that has been confirmed by people who have seen the game behind closed doors. So although we haven't seen it, it's also been confirmed that sliding will be back in the game. I know a lot of people were wondering whether dolphin diving or some new mechanic will be making it into the game. From reports I've seen regarding the private screening, sliding is going to be there, or at least a variant of it, which to be honest, I'm tremendously happy about. I enjoyed dolphin diving, but it wasn't as fluid. It took away from the fast paced movement and sliding is a slide and go thing. No real recovery needed. That's something that's confirmed a lot of questions and concerns in both my mind as well as others in the community. So I'm glad to see that that will be making a return. So that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you guys at all worried about the mechanics in this game? And if so, why are you? If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you owed you like that, or as greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name's Nicole Espresso. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.